do have a voice. It's a very loud voice. It's a very loud voice. And I like using it. I like using it. And you know what? You know what? If the kids of our generation do not speak up, the kids of our generation do not speak up, who's going to listen? Who's going to listen? Not just having all the adults around, nobody's going to listen. What's the solution, though? Because a rally or a protest isn't the solution. It can't be. Yeah, no. Unless they have such a mass demonstration that you just shut everything down yeah, and you have man. to start from scratch. That's what we're getting into. I'm here because I've been ripped off by several banks. I follow their policies, and yet there's fees and things that are charged to my accounts, which I cannot correct because of a disenfranchising process, which does not allow you to correct for their mistakes, which are often denied and addressed as updating, as opposed to anything being broken. Uh, I'm owed thousands of dollars by banks. I don't have time to deal with it, because I have to work to survive. Yeah. I'm fed up. I have to do something. They owe me money. They owe me money. They owe us money. Thousands of dollars unpaid. That's even under their estimates. Uh, it's just baffling that we got into this position. So then how is this for you then? Just to let off steam or do you hope, expect something to come from this? And if so... I'm expecting 99% of the population is in a similar... is going to be, if not already, in a similar circumstance. Some related crime committed against them by a corporate banking cartel. And I hope to spread awareness so people will not be victimized and taken or feel like they are helpless because there is recourse. History has shown. History repeats itself. It is currently happening. The censorship seems so desperate. Now, I heard about this protest from Los Angeles newspapers, Philadelphia newspapers, Denver newspapers. There's a blackout. Uh, yeah. The Yahoo, or Yahoo, or Yahoo, email is getting censored. Uh, Yahoo, email is getting censored. Uh, desperate censorship to cover up a progressive movement. To everybody, then everybody, then everybody just has a little bit, and nobody has. So you're what you're giving ninety percent of your labor away, or ninety percent of your intelligence or your effort, and what you've made from that, capitalized off that, you're giving it away. So then everybody equally has nothing, and that's exactly what like the Soviet Union or Cambodia was, right? And they were all in misery. I don't know. I'm. I'm not expecting to have all the answers. I don't. Yeah. That's why I have the questions. But it's like I, I don't. I, I, I can't really answer that. Really, really, it's an individual thing. If you could just say why you're here, right. what your goal is, well, whatever, and that's cool. I'm here to support the Denver Free State and what they're doing, you know, handing food out to all the homeless people and people in need, and to all the protesters and everything, I think that's really great. Um, I'm also here for Occupy Denver because uh, what the bankers are doing to the people is fucked up, and the 400 people that own most of the wealth in this country don't care about the 99% of people that are struggling right now just to make ends meet. Right on there. <laughs> Hi, my name is Trash. I am Trash? Yes. All right. I'm absolutely fed up with the corporate corruption that is going on in my country. I don't understand how small business could possibly hope to compete in 
G makes four, made fourteen million dollars last year. Got three and a half million in subsidies. More in subsidies for one year than most companies will ever make, and paid nothing in federal taxes. Why should G stockholders, which is primarily the very rich in this country, benefit? from these subsidies and from them not failing to not having to pay federal taxes. No small business can do that. Because of that, small business in this country is dying. The rich are getting richer and the poor are getting astronomically poorer. And we're fed up. All right. Thanks, man. I'll step back so I can get your sign on. Sure. And say you get down to a solid list of demands. How do you get those demands met? Well, actually, Who are you there, gonna take are, them to? there are people all over the country that also have the same thing going on. You know, they're in Wall Street, Boston, Chicago, Portland, Omaha, Albuquerque. They all have to Omaha, combine at some Albuquerque. point, right? Yeah, and since all of our demands are overall on the, on, you know, I believe it's Occupy Together, all of our generalized demands that we're going, you know, for as a whole, as a country, those are all on there, and those are, you know, obviously we're going to toss out the ones that are pointless, like... <laughs> You know, things that things that don't seem realistic, you know, probably aren't going to make it. Well, what, what would you say, I don't know how well, I know the list is huge, what would you say are like the top five demands? Or at least five, top five realistic demands, like somebody wants tax a pink Cadillac. That's way high up there. Tax the rich.